Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I have done a wear test. Trust me, I've been wanting to do more fitnessy videos, but fitness videos have to be like planned out in advance and it's just so much easier to like sit down and talk about a makeup product and not have to like move or think about where you're gonna film it. So I promise I will work on that. But again, it's just been a little weird being at his uh, parents' place and being at my in-laws' place. There's just not room, really, for me to do that. And I live in a house with three other people besides my husband um, and I. So there are five people in this house. And so it's kind of weird, like, trying to do a workout video, you know, in somebody else's house. Today, I am going to be testing out the Gymshark Dreamy Leggings. Of course, anything Whitney Simmons puts on her body, I'm like, I need you. I need that. I have the Gymshark, let's see, this is a huge tag. Oh my goodness. Do they have tags like this on all their pants? It's kind of cool. Obviously, it's meant to, you know, be cut off. Um, but I appreciate it when brands just don't even have tags like this, you know? It's just a little bit easier. They are the full length because... Do they make them? I think they do make them cropped, but I think when I bought these, they had not come out with the cropped version. So this is in the shade Chalk Pink. I saw Whitney wearing them, again, like I stated. Um, these do not appear to be high-waisted because they have a smaller band. Typically with high-waisted pants, you have a thicker band, um, and it's a lot longer. I hear that these give you camel toe there is no crotch gusset that could be the reason for it i got these in a size small i know whitney said she gets hers in an extra small but i feel like i'm more i'm thicker than whitney even though she is a taller human being i kind of guesstimate um i wear four in the align leggings from lululemon and she wears the twos and so even though some of our sizing is very similar i just i just feel better going up a size. I don't want to go to an extra small and then have them rip really easily um, or go sheer. And so I just thought, you know, I'll get a small on these. I'm sure they will fit me just a fine, but I'm going to put them on my body and then we will see what they look like. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is what we are working with so far. These are the smalls, like I said. Um, I'm having kind of like extra fabric around the knee area that could just be because I am a shorter person so this would probably be like up in the thigh area on a normal sized human being again I have quite a bit of extra room at the bottom especially on this side um which is annoying I am 5'1 for reference and these seamless leggings I had a little tiny bit of excess room this is typically why I go for cropped leggings because they're just nobody nobody is 5'1 who's 5'1 why would we make leggings for short people so they are super soft so these I actually can hike up and pull over my belly button so I can kind of make them high-waisted because I did go a size up I believe if I went with the extra small then if I hiked this guy up I could have a little bit of camel toe but also like I am short and so sometimes with taller human beings they can't pull them up for fear of your, you know, camel toe. Um, but I will say this seam right here is, I mean, I can see why people are getting camel toe. Um, but again, I do have excess room up here. Maybe I should have sized down. These are nice and comfy. They don't feel too tight. They fit me really nicely. Oh my gosh, what is on the back? Um, do we see that? Do we see that? I have nothing on my hands. So I'm only assuming that came like that out of the package, which is annoying. It looks um, dirty. It looks like dirt. I'm not completely positive as to what that is. This is the back of the leggings. It kind of reminds me of the Align leggings and how they've sort of built it. Like there is no outer seam. There's only this inner seam right here. It is. It, they're totally trying to make these like the Align leggings. You see the double seam. Um, that is also how the Align leggings are. Um, I'm a little disappointed in this knee area, if we can see that. I don't have anything in this color. 
So now we are going to take them on a test run at the gym and we will see how it goes. Also, I'm going to do a squat test and I will update you. So here's what it looks like with the pants pulled up. Again, remember, I have like the shortest torso in the world. Um, I am 5'1", and I still don't have camel toes. I also purchased this top. This is one of the long sleeve tops. I think it's really cute. However, I will say, if you are a short human, <laughs> I have like all this excess room um, up here, so it will hit my elbows correctly. Um, and they also have little thumb holes. So it's kind of one of those things where like, if you're a shorter person and your arms are going to be a little bit shorter than your average person, you will have, like, bagginess up in here, um, which kind of stinks because normally with long sleeve shirts, I can get away with wearing long sleeve shirts that are made for taller humans because they don't have these little elbow slits, but because of the elbow slits, they have to hit you in a specific area, you know what I mean? But this is really cute with these leggings. Um, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Um, I've never had a shirt like this and I thought it would be too short on me because everybody who puts them on their bodies, it's like right underneath their boobs. Um, but again, because I am a short human and they make things for, uh, tall people, it sort of hits like right above my belly button. I will see you guys when I get back from the gym. Okay. guys just now leaving the Y got in a good solid hour of work time um, so I spent a little over an hour in total at the gym um, hopefully you saw the video clips I got I tried to be like you know not like showy I always hate when girls you know they like are taking selfies of themselves I just think it's kind of weird so um, anyway the leggings I really do like, however, ooh, my eyes look freaky in this lighting. Do you see how blue they are? Oh my gosh, I'm freaked out by my eyes. Um, but, and also, excuse me, when I work out a lot, my nose tends to run, especially when I have a cold, and especially when it is cold outside. I feel like my nose just like produces so much snot um so what i was saying about the leggings is i really like them they're really soft they're really nice but they show sweat i like i said before i don't normally wear i gotta catch my breath i don't normally wear um underwear with my leggings and so i do produce butt sweat um obviously and they showed right through. It seriously looks like I peed my pants. It was kind of weird. Sorry, this lighting is really awful. Um, so I'm like super disappointed that they showed sweat that bad. Like it literally looks like I had peed myself, um, which I'm sure was a sight to see by my fellow gym goers. But I will give you my final update when I get home and when this lighting is better. Okay, goodbye. I think that these leggings look good. I think that they perform well. But my issue, number one is the length. Um, I did, you know, roll these guys up. Um, but also the fact that it shows sweat. And it shows sweat like, I mean, pretty, pretty badly, I would say. Um, it looked like I peed my pants. So that's cool. That is my shower. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> anyway, so all in all, I think that these leggings are very nice. Um, they feel really good, but I almost want to use them as like leggings to wear around the house just because of how awkwardly it showed sweat. Um, maybe if you wore underwear, you wouldn't have that issue. Um, but for me, I just had that issue. So I'm just letting you guys know. I think that they feel really nice. I think that if you're a taller person, you will like these. They do remind me a lot of the Lululemon Align leggings. So I may do a dupe or don't on that. Hmm. 
But anyways, that was my final review. If you guys liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like these videos. And go ahead and leave a comment below telling me what you would like me to test out and do a wear test on. If you haven't already, be sure that you are subscribed to my channel um, so you can get more wear test videos and more fitness videos coming soon. Hopefully. Alright, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!